Okay, so as x equals 6, the solution to 4x minus 1 equals 15. That is the question for this video. And I have down here, this is basic algebra. And it is uh, basic algebra. It's foundational algebra. But don't let this word stress you out. Don't be like, oh, I don't even know what basic algebra is if you don't know the answer to this question. Basic is a relative term. Okay, there's something like basic calculus, all right? basic whatever, right? Everyone has to learn from some point, okay? So don't feel bad about this word basic, but this is uh, a foundational kind of concept to algebra, okay? And we're gonna go over, obviously, the solution or the correct answer to this problem, but I'm gonna really stress to you some fundamental concepts that you need to know uh, when you're studying our favorite topic, which is algebra. Okay, so we're gonna to get to that in just one second, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe it is one of the best online math help programs there is. I'll let, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can find a link to my math help program in the description of this video. Now, basically what I have is like 100 plus different math courses. I have all the uh, main courses, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, uh, college algebra, I'm going to be launching my pre-calculus here soon, but I have many, many specialty courses. So those would be like uh, courses to get you ready for like the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, teacher certification exam, nursing entrance exam, college placement exam. So a lot of people are studying mathematics, <clears throat> excuse me, um, for other reasons outside of a course, right? So you might be like in an algebra two course, uh, but you know, that's fine if you're watching this video, but this, if you're this particular video, if you're watching this, you might be in something more elementary, like a pre-algebra or introductory type of course. That's fine. but Or you might be studying for the GED, okay, or the high set or the task. Whatever the case might be, um, I have many, many different courses to, you know, uh, customize curriculums for these particular exams. So if you are um, studying for one of these exams, I likely have that test prep uh a math course for you. So again, check out uh, the link in the description of the video, video if you're interested. Now, um, if you happen to be like a homeschooler, I also have a homeschool program, uh, full uh, curriculum. And then obviously, if you're uh, taking a math class, you can use my program to assist you um, as you're going to get more instruction. And then maybe you like my teaching style, that would be great. Uh, so again, it's a lot of robust help there for you. But if you really want to help yourself, in mathematics, you got to take great notes. I call this my golden rule of math, and it's something I've learned over the decades of teaching this subject. It's just like, you know, you look for these principles of life. I found one, and that is those students <laughs> who take great math notes almost always have great math grades. And the reverse is true. Those students who just are, they are not into taking notes are like, I, I can just remember everything I see. Um, or my best buddy lives, uh, takes his class with me and I just get their notes. Um, listen, you have to take notes, all right? You don't want to be looking like this at the end of your math class, right? At the end, of, you get your final grade and you're like, mm, you're going to be sad. And I go to that person, I'm like, you know, uh, let me see your notes, right? Well, I don't really have notes. Well, I'm telling you right now, note taking there's a direct correlation. I don't know why that is. Well, I kind of do know, know why it is. Basically, because you're using all your, your senses, okay? You're writing, you're seeing, you have to be focused, you have to be engaged, and it's work, okay? So I stress this all the time because if you're watching my videos about mathematics, okay, if you're trying to learn math, we can't over... Um, dismiss the importance of note-taking, critical, all right? So as you improve in your note-taking, which most of you probably can stand some room for improvement, I uh, offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, so let's get into this question, and we're gonna first uh, talk about what is a solution uh, to an equation, okay? So let's talk about that now. So what is a solution to an equation? Well, it would first, you know, help us to understand what is an equation, okay? Then we'll talk about what a solution is. But what is, it, what is an equation? Okay, so here's a little pop quiz for you. So if you said, well, is it one of those things in math that has this sign, a little equal sign? And if you said that, you're absolutely correct. So give yourself a little A+, plus, a couple little stars, and a smiley face because that's very, very good. So any mathematical statement with uh, an equal sign 
is an equation. Okay. Now, how can we think of equations? Well, if you think of them uh, metaphorically, or, or you know, um, you know, just as an example, or conceptually speaking, as a little scale. Okay, and it's in balance. Okay. In other words, the scale is not like this, or it's not like this. It's not out of balance. It's in perfect balance, meaning that this side of the scale weighs, okay, we can kind of think of that in those terms, weighs is exactly the amount as this other side, okay? But more precisely, what we're really kind of uh, thinking here is that this value, okay, whatever this value is, is exactly this value, all right? So that's what an equation is stating, that this left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. If I flip this, obviously, the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side, okay? So that's what an equation is, and that's how we want to think of, of uh, an equation, okay? Something that's in balance. Now, let's take a look at this basic equation, 2x is equal to 5. Now, this x in algebra represents a number. It's a variable, okay? So what we have here is 2 times some number, Okay, some number is equal to 10, okay? Now, if you think back to your second grade math or third grade, first grade, whatever that might have been, you probably um, had problems like this. 2x in the little box is equal to 10. Remember those days? Uh, that's when uh, things were awesome, you know, like life was so simple. You just went to school, you know, elementary school, and you figured these problems out and you got like all these little, you know, rewards for thinking that, but you would be like, uh, what is the number two times what number? And then of course, everyone would be like, is it five? You would be correct. You put a five in there and, uh, that's right. Okay. Two times five is 10. Okay. So really, okay. You were doing algebra. You didn't even realize it way back in, uh, your uh, primary elementary days. Okay. So the number, okay. The value that makes this side, okay, uh, equal, this left-hand side equal to the right-hand side, okay, whatever that specific value is, is the solution. So a solution to an equation is the value that keeps uh, the equation uh, true. It keeps the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side, okay? So 2 times what number would be equal to 10? Well, I need to get this to be 10 because 10 is equal to 10. It can't be anything else. So I got to figure out two times what number is uh, 10. Obviously, that number is 5. So x is equal to 5 is the solution. Because if I plug that back in, okay, to my uh, replace the x with this number, okay, it would be a true statement. All right. So that's what a solution is. And, of course, in algebra, we're interested in solving equations, which is basically... Um, looking for the solution. How do we go find that solution? Well, we solve equations, all right? We solve equations, and that is kind of going on the hunt for the solution, okay? Well, how do I do that? Well, in this particular case, all we would do is divide both sides of the equation by 2, and you get x is equal to 5. That is the solution. That is the value, such that if I plugged it in here, I replace this x with this 5, I get 10 is equal to 10, Okay. Now, I'm probably telling you uh, some stuff that you've already been familiar with. You're like, yeah, yeah, I, I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. And uh, that phrase, I knew that, is one of my top phrases that I've heard at least 175,000 times over the decades of teaching math. Uh, and what's crazy about that phrase, I knew that, I knew that, I knew that, is that's typically what I've heard, I hear when uh, someone does something wrong. They get a, uh, you know, a question wrong. They're like, oh, man. There are expressions like, oh, like this. And they're like, I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I'm like, if you knew that, you should have done that. But listen, what I'm saying is if, you, if you're familiar with this, what we're doing is if you didn't, if you do know this, excellent. Okay, so we're just reinforcing concepts. But in algebra, in mathematics, it's really important to get these foundational concepts down solid. Okay, so you can handle, you know, and build upon handle more advanced math and, and build upon that in one step at a time. Okay, so let's get to our problem now. All right, so is x equals 6 is the solution to this equation? Well, we could do a couple things here. One, I could solve the equation, 
All right, I can solve the equation and get the answer, all right? And then compare the answer to six. And obviously if the answer and six is the same, then yes, x, x equals six is in fact the solution. But I don't need to solve this equation, okay? What I have to uh, do or what I can do is, is think to myself, okay, 4x minus 1 uh, is what? Well, it's this has got to be the same as 15, okay, because I got 15 on the right-hand side, right? So, so conceptually, right, this has always got to be in balance with this, this side here, okay? So if I take this 6, right, if this is in fact the solution, if I replace this x with a 6, okay, it's going to make this side be 15, okay? If that number, in fact, does that, then it is indeed the actual solution. So let's go ahead and do that. And when you're checking, uh, we can call this uh, check to see if x is equal to 6 or verify, okay, if x equals 6 is the solution to this equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this 4 and I'm going to put parentheses. I'm going to put the 6 in here like this, minus 1. And now I got to see, I got to determine, is this true or false? Well, let's go ahead and do the math. Some of you can probably obviously see that this is not going to be true. So 4 times 6 is 24 minus 1. Uh, I get, uh, is that equal to 15? Well, is 23 equal to 15? No, it's not. Okay, it is not equal to 15. Therefore, therefore, x equals 6 is not the solution. Okay, so... Uh, in mathematics, oftentimes, you won't have to know how to solve, okay, an equation. We didn't go through the process here. You need to check to see if something is, in fact, the solution or not. You just, that's in, in the way you do it, it's exactly the way I just showed you. You just plug that value in, and then you, you look to see um, at the end result if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. If it is, and then, in fact, that number was the solution. But uh, let's go ahead and quickly solve this here, okay? So we know x equals 6 is not the uh, answer, it's not the solution, okay? But what is the solution? Well, if you're interested, we can go ahead and solve this equation. We can directly go get the solution. So the first thing here is I'm gonna add one to both sides of the equation, like so, okay? Then I'm gonna add down in a column manner, and I get 4x, all right? Negative one plus one is zero, that's equal to 16. So I have 4x is equal to 16. And then finally, to get x by itself, I need to divide by the equation by 4, both sides of the, equa of the equation by 4, and I get x is equal to 4. Now, I just kind of quickly solved this equation, this two-step equation. I didn't really kind of explain this totally, okay? But I have plenty of videos in my pre-algebra and algebra 1 playlist on solving equations, but you need to formally know this. There's a lot involved in here, okay? So when you're learning about equations, you got to know what an equation is, okay, which we talked about. What is an equation? What is a, a solution? Okay, what does it mean to solve an equation? And then finally, we need to know the steps to solve equations. And this is involved, uh, you know, yeah, more involved, right? Because there's a lot of different kind of procedures and different type of equations in an algebra. We have lots of different type of equations uh, to solve. We have linear equations, uh, quadratic equations, systems of equations, radical equations, rational equations, exponential equations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, again, it kind of goes back to my, um, you know, thing, one of the things that I stress is note-taking. There's just too much information to, you know, remember this by just looking. And, remember, and don't, um, don't confuse uh, you looking at someone doing math as learning, okay? So if you're watching me do this, you understand that, you know, you're like, I get it, all right? That's fine, but you have to put this into action for yourself. You have to practice math yourself. That's the only way you're going to increase your retention, okay? So again, if you're watching my videos, you're here to, you know, improve in math, learn something about math, and I'm going to give you my best advice, all right? As someone who's been doing this for a long, long time, there's a lot of things I can't do, okay? But one thing, uh, you know, I do pretty well is teach math. You know, I got a degree in math, a master's degree, but that's not what makes me a fairly effective math teacher. I like to believe I'm, I'm a pretty solid math teacher. It's experience, okay? And the ability to teach math in a clear and understandable way, that's my goal, right? So the things that I'm telling you or, or I'm stressing to you are critical. If you follow what I'm saying, you're going to do excellent in mathematics, and you're going to get all those nice A pluses 
100%, which are just so awesome to get, you know, on any test, test or quiz or final exam, you get the picture. All right. So with that being said, uh, uh, one last uh, suggestion. If you need more, you know, additional help, check out my playlist on my channel. Okay. Uh, basic to advanced math, but all my ba uh, best work is going to be in my courses. So something like this, I would suggest at this level of math, my uh, most basic math course right now is pre-algebra. So you might be uh, interested in that course or maybe even algebra one, all depending on, you know, what you're uh, taking or what you're studying. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.